Hey boys and girls, welcome back to reading. So, yesterday we talked about Frog and Toad and how we thought about who they are as characters. And so today I want to reread the first couple pages with you and then I want to talk about um, how you think these characters handle the problem. Okay, so let's go back because where we left off yesterday, we knew there was a problem, but we didn't really talk about how they handled it and how, who they were as characters because of that. So here we go. Tomorrow. Toad woke up. Drat, he said. This house is a mess. I have so much work to do. Frog looked through the window. Toad, you are right, said Frog. It is a mess. Toad pulled the covers over his head. I will do it tomorrow, said Toad. Today, I will take life easy. Hmm. Now, I know that there is a problem right there. He, Toad, is avoiding the problem. How is he doing that? Tell somebody at home. Hmm. And Frog agrees with him. I'm going to talk about something really quick. So, pretend it was a hot summer day and you had an ice cream cone. And then... You were just about to take the first lick and it all fell all over the cement. How would you react? Okay, now I want you to pretend that you are standing in line for the brand new roller coaster. And as soon as you get up, you're next to go. It broke down. How would you react to that problem? And now I want you to pretend you're at the mall with your mom or your family and you look up and you can't find them anywhere. What would you do? Okay, so there are many different ways that somebody can react to a problem, okay? So the way you react says a lot about who you are and who you are as a character. So. You could throw a tantrum. You could remain calm and cool and collected. There's so many different ways to react. So the way that Toad reacted, he pulled the covers over his head. Is the mess gonna go away? Nope. So what does that say about Toad? I want you to write down what you think or say it to somebody at home. And Yesterday, we kind of talked about that, that he could maybe be kind of lazy, right? So this is the post that we're going to add today. Pay attention to how characters respond to problems, okay? How are Frog and Toad going to react to these problems? Let's keep going. Frog came into the house. Toad said Frog. Your pants and jacket are lying on the floor. Tomorrow, said Toad. From under the covers. Your kitchen sink is filled with dirty dishes, said Frog. Tomorrow, said Toad. There's dust on your chairs. Tomorrow, said Toad. Your windows need scrubbing, said Frog. Your plants need watering. Tomorrow, cried Toad. I will do it all tomorrow. Now, we know that Toad seems lazy like he wants to avoid the problem and maybe it'll go away but what does that say about frog what do you think frog is like he seems kind of bossy right so i'm going to put a, a, a post-it here and i am going to write on here what i know so far about the characters when there's a problem toad seems kind of lazy and frog seems kind of bossy hmm I'm gonna put that here because that's gonna tell me a little bit more about the characters so today when you're reading boys and girls I want you to go through the first few pages of your series book and figure out where the problem is and put a sticky or a piece of paper there 
And then I want you to figure out how the characters react to that problem. And what does that say about them? So that's your job today. Show me your post-its on Seesaw. Have a great day.